Hey, how's it going? Thank you for being here. So I wanted to do um, a sort of follow-up to the Love Connection reading that we did last week on Friday. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link in the description. Also, I'll have it up in the cards, which I believe is in this upper hand corner. I'm not sure exactly. And then I'll also have it in the end screen of this video. So you have three places to find that video. Um, and so it's a love connection reading. And I just wanted to follow up to see what is coming next in the connection. Um, and you can watch this video without having watched the first one. It's its own video. But if you feel like you need to watch the other one, you know, please do. And so let's go ahead and connect to Rose Quartz Love Energy. All right, very good. All right, let's get some cards. Love energy. What is it that you can show us? What is coming in for this love connection? What can we see that's coming next for this connection, please? All right. We have clear out the old. Oh, very good. Clear out the old. Let's get some more cards. Love energy, please reveal to us what old are we clearing out, please? Ooh. Okay. So we have, ooh, and they're all in reverse. Okay. So let's take a look here. We have Messenger of Air. Initiation, it's number two. This is the second initiation that you guys are now going through, okay? And then nine of earth. Let me look at them closer here. Okay, so we have clear out the old. So any leftover um, insecurities, any leftover... I keep hearing baggage, whatever that might mean. I don't know. Um, leftover baggage, leftover, and really baggage and insecurities is what I'm hearing. Okay. Because like I said, this is an initiation. It is your second initiation. You're on round two. Okay. Nine of earth, messenger of air. There's a message that has either already come in or will be coming in. Keep it close to your heart. Hold on to it because you're going somewhere. Let's get more information. Uh, let's do this deck here. Love energy, please reveal to us. What else can we see with this messenger of air energy? Please reveal to us, what else can we see with this messenger of air energy? Okay, here we go. It's right on, it's right here on top of the messenger of air and the initiation. This is daughter of swords. Okay. More information, please. Ooh, this whole pile. And I can see that it's, oh, it's not reverse. Wow. Okay. Oh yeah. And these cards were in reverse. And so what this means is that this energy is coming in. It's coming in. Okay. 
All right, so we have, for this messenger energy, we have death. We have four of pentacles. Death to the four of pentacles. Death to the, the guarding of the heart. Death to the fear and insecurities. We have five of swords. Death to this. Death to the conflict and the struggle. Very good. Wow. And then uh, the seven of pentacles. Things are moving. Oh, it's like that other reading where the two were coming together. They were facing each other. Now the two, this is the same, this is the same idea, just different cards. So coming this way and coming this way. They're both coming together to join, to meet to meet up and the six of swords i see the rainbow here and i was immediately thinking of coming this coming in here together and just like the one in the last one this rainbow is a connection it's you're meeting up like each end of the rainbow is coming to meet and create the rainbow. So it's creating your union, if you want to call it that, or creating the next step in your initiation together. Okay, so you're coming in to something great, something great. All right, let's get some more cards. Oh, and the Daughter of Swords here. I didn't go over that one. Is the page, the page, the, they're messengers. So it's another, it's another, oh yeah, it's the, <laughs> that's so cool. Because the messenger of air, the swords is air energy. So it's the same card, essentially. So, wow, that's really cool. I like that. Okay, let's get some more cards here. What else can we see? Love energy, please show us. Hmm. Okay, we're clearing out all these conflicts and struggles. What are we moving into, please? Okay, very good. Let's see. Okay, this one, my camera angle isn't the greatest right now. And so it was like this. So this one is on top of the initiation. Oh, yeah. See, an end to the conflict. Fives are, are conflicts. An end to the conflict of passion. Um, the wands is the fire energy, um, which is our desires and our, and our love and creativity and the passion that wells up within us. And so it's in reverse. It's this one is indicating um, that it's being cleared out clearing out the old for this new initiation. What else do we have here? Oh, <laughs> this is so wonderful. More reversals, um, just like in the other video. That's cool. Um, five of Cups and Temperance. So the grief that you were going through, um, there was sort of a tempering of this grief for whatever you had to go through in your connection with this person. Um, for some reason, that grief was necessary to balance the situation balance, or, or even just balance the heart, balance the mind, balance the emotions, probably more so the emotions since it is the cups. And so now that these were in reverse, again, we have the clearing away of the hardship and the balance has now fully come in and set in or is beginning to set in and coming in. Okay. Very good. All right. Let me, I'm just grabbing my other deck. All right, love energy. What else can you reveal to us, please, about our love connection here? I would like to see 
what is more of this direction love energy and this rainbow that we are creating in our love connections please show us more of that please What else can we see, please? Sorry for bumping my camera. Okay, this wants to come out. This and these here. Okay, so we have Queen of Wands, the Emperor, Six of Swords, ooh, the Star, and three of swords. Okay, let me look closer here. <sighs> okay, so we have the queen of wands and the emperor. So these are the two, the masculine and feminine energies. Okay, and I see this card, the six of swords. This person is balancing quite beautifully. Isn't that a beautiful pose right here? So there is the balance, like I said, with this temperance card, the balance, it looks like the balance because it was this white. So it's coming in, but it looks like it's already set in. And we can see these swords here as the struggle has been set down. And so now this individual is balancing. The two are in balance and moving in, like the energy is moving in that direction, okay? And so we have the star here. And so I always view this, the star energy in a connection reading like this as star seed or, I don't really want to put labels um, so whatever it means to you, but for example, star seed or soulmate sort of energy where it's a sort of divine connection. It's, it's sort of within your destiny. Okay. And again, this was in reverse, so it's coming in, but maybe let's see coming in. It is in, it's here. It's here. Yeah, it's here. And then the three of swords. So let's get some more clarification on this because this is heartache. And this one in particular looks pretty dark, doesn't it? So let's get some clarification. Love energy, please. What is going on with this three of swords energy because i thought we were clearing out the old clearing out the insecurities and stuff so what is this what's going on here with the three of swords please okay we have right you know, just FYI, I never usually get this many reversals. So this is, this is, this to me is saying a lot that this, this energy is really strong right now. It's really coming in strong. Okay. Um, so let's see, we have the four of swords and six of pentacles. So this Three of Swords energy is the energy of heartache and grief. But now it's coming to rest. Three, the next number is four. It's now, so this is now coming to rest because now there is the ability for more reciprocation. Because in the last video, if you recall, um, the feminine energy released released something or released an energy, um, a sort of expression, okay? And because of that, it opened up things. 
And so here now we get more reciprocation between the two because of that release. So that's what these cards are saying is the grief has ended. We're now in a, a better place without the stress and the heartache and maybe if there was confusion in your situation, it's all at peace now. The swords have been, the mind, the swords represent our mind. So our mind is now more at ease, just like this one. You see the swords here are resting, just like this one. The swords here are resting, okay? So we're in a resting place from all that mind, that bothersome mind stuff okay more reciprocation that's beautiful hmm, what else what else what else let's get some more let's do this deck continue with this one love energy i would like to see more please on the six of pentacles and the reciprocation what else is coming into play in regard to the reciprocation. Okay, this one fell. Oh, it's the hanged man. It's the hanged man, but in reverse. <laughs> like what a card to have in reversal, right? Because it's already a peculiar one because it's upside down. Anyway, okay. Um, so the hanged man. The hanged man is one... This card is one of a new perspective, but you are having to be suspended in this new perspective, which can be difficult at times because it's the universe forcing you to look at something and, and look deeply at it, okay? But since it's turned upside down, I feel like now... It's not so, how do I express this? The discomfort of being suspended, the discomfort of having to look at this particular situation or whatever you've been dealing with in the connection, you have been kind of forced to deal with your situation and that's uncomfortable at times and since we have it in reverse there's sort of now a comfort in it like there's a peace you're balanced again balanced and at rest and at peace and you understand and know and feel comfortable with now what is going on, what the reasons for certain things in your situation, if that makes sense, okay? So because of this, again, the reciprocation, you're able to communicate better with each other. So that's really beautiful. Okay, I wanna get, let's see. Let's just get another card here. Okay, love energy. Any last any last information you would like to give us, please, that we can walk away with on our love connection, please. What else can you share with us? Very good. All right. Okay. We have here Four of Pentacles, okay. Ace of Wands, okay. And this is the Queen of Cups and the Moon, okay. So the last words here. Um, don't get scared and don't, don't get scared because now that you can become closer, where is the card here? Now that you are beginning to become closer, you're in your, your second initiation phase. Now that there's more reciprocation, for some of you, it could begin to feel 
uncomfortable because you are growing closer. So don't get scared and feel like you need to guard your heart with this huge shield here. We always need to be mindful of our hearts and make sure that we're being treated appropriately. But when we get when we become fearful, afraid of losing the person or afraid of intimacy, afraid of being close, if we put up a huge guard, then that person can't come in. They're not able to penetrate and then and then you're missing out, both of you. Okay, so don't be afraid. Don't go back to this. Okay. Um, because those, those fear is an illusion. Fear is because you can't see what's, like, we can't see what's in our future. You know, we can only, we can, by the way things are going in our present moment, we can imagine what is coming in our future. We can plan, but we don't truly know what's going to happen tomorrow until tomorrow comes. And so fear loves to sneak in and kind of trick the mind. And when it tricks the mind, it, it messes with the heart. And you don't want to do that. Okay? Just remove all fear. Remove all fear. All right. Um, okay. I don't know which card. <laughs> I'm excited about both of these. Uh, okay. Let's go with this one. The Ace of Wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the Ace of Wands. Rest in your knowing. Remember, the wands is our, our love, our fire, our desire, our passion, our creativity. Rest in your knowing. Hold it close to you. This is what you hold close to your heart. Your, your knowing, not this, okay? You see what I'm saying? Hold this close to your heart. Trust your heart. And within that, this beautiful phoenix, this beautiful energy you can is created and allowed to to be free to move okay and with this um queen of cups energy it's a reminder to it's a reminder that goes along with with this here that we because of the emotions of the cups of the water energy to keep the emotions in balance and keep and so it's to keep the emotions in balance and allowing the intuition to come in just like this allowing it to come in because if our emotions are kind of all over the place and we're not handling them well then it that's like the number one thing that blocks our intuition. And it, it, then it, our intuition isn't allowed to flow. And that's the one thing we need to focus and pay attention to is our intuition. The emotions can be tricky, okay? We want our intuition to flow. Okay, that's really nice. Let's get... Um, oops, oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, keep bumping my camera. Um, okay, let's get a card of advice, please. Love energy, please show us any advice that we can walk away with here, please. All right, here we are. We have, oh, lovely, romantic love, number 34. Let's, let me read it. It says, the frequency of romantic love supports our experience to know ourselves through the reflection of a conscious lover. Romantic love. Love is in the air. Hmm. That's wonderful. I'm so happy. Thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. You can also um, 
share with me anything that you want to share. I, I want to hear it. So let me know. Okay. All right. Until next time, have a good one.